hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel and in today's video i'll be showing you guys how you can actually write a research paper using ChatGPT, just as you can see on my screen right now so make sure to stay tuned So the first thing you want to do is to go to the site chat.openai.com and if you're new to ChatGPT, all you want to do is to create an account so you can probably log in with your google account or whatever other account you want to use so then immediately you're in ChatGPT. all you want to do is to ask ChatGPT, write me a research paper on so whatever topic you'd like to ask ChatGPT, you can just input it yeah for an example i'm gonna say on the political challenges challenges in the world and then all you want to do is to click enter so as you can see ChatGPT is going to analyze everything and it's going to provide a very good organized audience for you to use in your research paper so as you can see on the screen right now tied to political challenges in contemporary world so basically ChatGPT is going to provide every single thing for you in just a few seconds so yeah all you want to do after this is to just copy this okay you're going to copy this ctrl c and then immediately you copy it all you want to do is to go to the site plagiarism removal.net and then you're going to paste the text over here now the purpose of doing this is to ensure that you don't end up being caught on the issue of copying from ChatGPT or copying from another person's work so that's the purpose of running it through this plagiarism remover so now immediately after you paste it you just want to come down here to remove plagiarism and then you let the work be done so as you can see removing plagiarism so you just want to wait and then as you can see the plagiarism free text everything is going to be summarized for you and then the words or closed words related to the you know individual words is going to be changed for you and then immediately it has generated the text for you as you can see plagiarism free text all you want to do is to come here to the save and then you can save it as a document file or text so you can just save it as a document file and then that's basically all so as you can see we have it over here okay so this is it over here so once you click on it it's going to open for you in the world or the wps world whatever what processing software you're making use of so i'm just going to use wps and then as you can see it has provided every single thing for us now the only thing you need to do is to reorganize it in a very good manner you know you need to ensure your research paper looks very well organized so that's basically how it works so guys that brings us to the end of today's video if you surely learned a lot from today's video and you'd like to ask certain questions make sure to drop it down in the comment section because i'm always here to answer your questions and yeah guys if you haven't subscribed make sure to subscribe and also drop a like on today's video and i'll see you guys in my next video